Hello and welcome back. Today's video is an update for my Project 10 Uses. I really enjoy this project. It is very, very low key. This is something a lot of people are doing. The first person I saw do this one was Phoebe HB. A lot of other people are doing a project 10 uses, project 20 uses, things like that. I'm also doing a project 100 uses where I'm trying to get to 100 uses on a lot of very difficult to pan items. So you can check that out if you are interested. This is just me picking four or five items at a time, trying to use them 10 times. It's kind of like a shop my stash, except in my shop my stash, I usually only only use things between two to four times. Um, this is kind of a way for me to get usage out of some pretty neglected products. And I've been doing all eyeshadow palettes lately. I have in the past also done like highlighters and lip products, but I'm kind of sticking with eyeshadow palettes right now because I really want to be rotating through my collection. I definitely have a large eyeshadow palette collection. So first I'm going to recap the ones I use 10 times and then I'll be picking out some new palettes. Let's get into it. All right, the first one that I had is this Fenty palette and I did use this 10 times. All of these I used 10 times, so all four will be rolled out. This one, I gotta say I enjoyed it more. I have said before that these Fenty snap shadows, I like them, but they're not my favorite. I did enjoy this though, and this does have some cooler tones. And I have mentioned that my eyeshadow palette collection is definitely lacking in cool tones. Therefore, I definitely enjoyed using this and I really do wanna use it more. And I gotta say, I actually like this a lot more now than before I put it in this project. So that is definitely a win. Now this next palette, it's not my favorite actually. Um, this is the Nabla Coral Cutie Palette. So I've now gotten some good usage out of this. This probably I had only used two or three times before putting it in this project. And I don't think it's my favorite formula, unfortunately. Um, these two glittery type shades are definitely difficult to work with. The mattes are very nice. The mattes are fantastic quality. This more metallic is really nice. And then you have a satin shade. This is good, but it is not amazing. People have raved about the Nabla formula, which is why I wanted to try it. I mean, this is definitely not bad, but compared to my other palettes, I definitely don't enjoy it as much, unfortunately. But I mean, it's not to the level that I want to declutter it. And I did do a really nice look with this color and a matte green in the crease. That was really pretty and I did enjoy that, but definitely not my favorite palette, but you know, I'm glad that I used it more. And now I know, I mean, I just don't think the Nabla formula is for me, but now I know it is what it is. Definitely learning some lessons here in eyeshadow palette purchasing. The next one is this, this was from BoxyCharm. This is the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale palette. This is very cool toned. And I did really enjoy this palette. Now this, I have noticed that the shimmers, you definitely have to be careful with them. If I do not use a wet brush, I get so much glitter fallout, but with a wet brush, it definitely works. But I know at least once I used this and I didn't spray my brush because I was kind of in a hurry. And then throughout the day, the glitter kept falling, which I do not like. But again, with the wet brush, that did not happen. Um, the mattes are really nice. They blend easily. I mean, this isn't overly unique for anything cool toned. It's kind of one of those classic cool toned palettes, you know, where you have the gray and the silver and, um, you know, cool toned browns. I will say this bottom row is really rich and beautiful. So I enjoyed it. Um, it's not my favorite palette, but I'm glad that I did get some usage out of that. And the fourth palette I had in this is the Zoeva Cocoa Blend. This also is from BoxyCharm. And I gotta say, this is a really nice palette. I definitely like the matte shades more than the metallics. Some of the metallics are a bit more sheer than others. Like this one is really pigmented, but then like that one is not as pigmented. But overall, I do really like this. Um, and I now have two Zoeva palettes because I got another one from BoxyCharm in June, but I have since canceled BoxyCharm. I've talked about that, but this one, it's really nice. I mean, it's kind of a classic warm tone palette with rich brown, a burgundy, a gold. I would not say it is overly unique. However, I definitely did enjoy this and I'm really happy that I do have Zoeva palettes now because it's definitely a brand I've wanted to try for a while. So yeah, I definitely enjoyed that one. In this project, I've been rotating four items at a time, but I've decided to increase it to five. 
Um, and the first one I'm picking for the next round is the Natasha Denona Mini Lila Palette. I have talked about how much I love the Natasha Denona formula and I do love this one. This has a lot of bad reviews, but personally, I think it's very, very nice. I enjoy it quite a bit. This is definitely my least used Natasha Denona palette. I mean, I don't have that many, but I haven't used this a ton. So I definitely want to get more usage out of it. You know, you have these more neutral shades here and then the three purpley type colors. I will say I've noticed that on the eyes, these two matte purples, they're not that different. I mean, this one's a bit more burgundy. This one's a bit more purple, but I kind of wish they had done a bit more variety with those two shades because it's only a five pan palette. But quality wise, I really enjoy this. Therefore, I thought it would be good to get some use out of it. Next up are two palettes I realized I don't think I've used in, I don't know, six months, maybe more, which is kind of sad because I actually do really like these. These are two of the Vault palettes by Morphe. And these got really bad reviews when this came out, but I actually like the ones I have. My favorite is definitely the Ring the Alarm. Very rich, warm tones. This is a really beautiful palette and I enjoy it quite a bit. But like I said, I haven't used this in long, long time. So I thought this would be a good one to put in this project. And then same with this one. This is the Armed and Gorgeous. This is very yellowy, orange, also definitely warm toned, but definitely different than the other one. Like I said, I like these. I do think they are good quality. Um, a couple of these shimmer shades are more chunky, not as smooth as others, but they definitely work. This color VIP is a gorgeous inner corner highlight, so I'm really excited to use that because I've been loving an inner corner highlight. Therefore, I thought this would be a good one to put in here. I do want to use these, um, even though I don't really buy from Morphe anymore, but these are quite nice. Alrighty, and then we have another BoxyCharm palette. This is the Living in Color by Hank and Henry, and this is one that I was surprised. This is very, very good quality, but I think I've only used it like four or five times since I got it, and I think this was in BoxyCharm in March or April, so... I definitely want to get some use out of these. The metallic shimmers, they are beautiful. I did a palette bingo video with this actually a while ago, and I was really, really impressed with the quality. The mattes also blend very well. You have some colorful shades, some more neutral type shades. This is a really high quality palette. Honestly, my only complaint is that it is so thick. This just seemed like really excessive, unnecessary packaging. They could have cut this width down in half and I would have much, much preferred it, but color selection quality is very nice. So definitely want to use this one. Alrighty, and last up we have a Juvia's Place palette. I have mentioned in several videos that this is my least used Juvia's Place palette, but I really do want to use it because it is really good. I just don't reach for it. I think it's one of those palettes I just kind of forget that I own. This is the Warrior 2, and this is all matte. And I am actually wearing these matte shades along with the Milani Gilded Coast palette. The black and the brown um, are from this palette. And the quality is great. I don't know why I'm not using this. And it is a beautiful color selection and you do have some cool tones, which I do want to use more cool tones for sure. I mean, most of it is very warm toned and rich, but this is beautiful. The quality is amazing. I mean, I love the Juvia's Place quality, so it's kind of sad that I've hardly used this, but I've actually used this palette four or five times in the last few weeks. So I thought it would be good to put it in this project. Um, to use it some more because yeah, it is really really nice and I've actually been wanting to do an all matte look using this palette I really enjoy all matte eyeshadow looks um, and this would be a good palette for that Or it's a good, you know supplementary palette to one that has more shimmers and metallics Alrighty, that is it for this update. I'm really enjoying this because I really want to be rotating through my palettes I have quite a few in my collection and I really don't want to neglect them. I am also doing a pan that palette. So, you know, I have to obviously use that quite a bit to get usage on that. And there are other palettes that I'm trying to hit pan on. So I just don't want to focus too much on those palettes and <laughs> neglect everything else. Therefore, this is a really, really good project. I've really enjoyed it. I gotta say, I've been kind of thinking about maybe decluttering a couple palettes. I'm not sure. I can't really decide because I definitely don't want to regret any declutters. Unfortunately, that has happened to me in the past, 
but we shall see. I'm not quite ready to do that. So yeah, if you're interested, my Project Pant and my Pan That Palette playlist will be in the description box. That is it. Thank you so much for watching.